happy July 1st. Let's hope uh, this half of the year doesn't suck so much. Anyway, welcome to Casual Boots. I got boots. I got sword. Let's go s see your uncle perish. Also, Lufia 2 music. Should be good. 3, 2, 1, go. I have long, full life ahead. That's not true. Heart piece. Witch! <laughs> also, I learned in this mode you can dash through bushes, despite not being able to slash your sword. Yeah. Off to a good start. Pendant, pendant. Fine. Thanks, man. I'm more excited about listening to new tunes. Oh, nice. I didn't really need bombs because I have the boots, but it's still nice to get them. So I'll need them later, but... But yeah, I'm looking forward... I had a lot of fun playing Horizon Zero Dawn last night. And I'm very much looking forward to continuing it tonight. But not until we play a little bit more Mario Kart. Now, I know a lot of you played already this weekend for the Dumbathon, so... Hope you guys are down for more Mario Kart. I know, it's a lot to ask of you. But I've already played Cheese Land at least three times. I know. I hear you loud and clear. Dude, I'll take more bombs any day. Oops. I'll get those too. Ah. Dude, give me that. No, the bombs are gonna disappear. Goofed, man. I goofed too hard. Dun, 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 dun. There's like moments in this these this music I've heard so far that sounds like other songs. I couldn't tell you what the other songs were, but it does. I was already mashing in anticipation of a, a text box popping up. Oh yeah, it sounds like... It sounds like Kirby music for a second there. Like the Great Cave Offensive. Just a wee bit. It is really weird going through Escape with Boots. I like it. Though it makes it hard to drink my coffee. I was hoping for a bomb drop. Meow, meow. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back to racing again. Next Monday will be exactly one month. If not, probably like a month and a day or so. Since the last time I raced. It was a much needed break. Oh. Master Sword, okay. As you wish. 
If only I had sword beams. Alright, let's see what's in the back here. to get excited about. Let's take a little magic. Alright, Bonkrox, head to Kakariko, Lost Wood, blah 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 blah. dollars I mean I guess it could hula hand too it's a tasty song oh I was trying to quick swap but that's not a thing dang it We'll go ahead and check Lumberjack since, you know, if it's something that we need, probably be good to know. Look like a cane of Samaria, but I want to double check anyway. Should I worry about farming rupees off of the bush crabs? Yeah, it's a little. Yeah, we'll have enough after we do. Oh! Don't mind if I do. I think this is also like an arranged like this obviously isn't the original music but I, I wouldn't know but at least just based on comments I've seen that this is some sort of like arrangement uh, collection instead but it is nice regardless Rip Hulahan Hulahan's dead. Goodbye, Hulahan. Hello, bombs. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that was worth the menu. If only I had quick swap, then it would have been worth it. gonna be seed a seed all about farming Zora money probably. Early flute. That's nice. Thank you. Oh yeah, I did get Bombos as well. You know what I'm actually gonna do? I'm gonna activate flute. And then I'm gonna do finish out this route and then I'll come back and check bottle vendor. Just cause I wanna try and hold on to this hundred dollars if I can. With Zoro being in logic and whatnot. This is so comfy. This music's so comfy. Keep on trying to quick swap. 
That's the problem with playing with Quick Swap, is that when I don't have it, it just... I feel stupid. Save and quit after checking this. I guess I can go ahead and run over to the dam. I'll take any money I can get. I guess I could do the other setup that just uses boots. But I haven't done that setup in forever, so I don't even know. I don't even remember how to make it work. care about the shield. You can keep it. Ironic. Okay, well, that gets us up to Hera right away. No fire source, no hook shot. But it does get us to East Death Mountain, so. And uh, since I have the meter, I don't mind grabbing the blue nail. Mind by me. A moon pearl for Dark World now. Also now, let me see if I can do the other Hulan. Sanctuary one. We still have East Palace area. We have a bunch of them at Death Mountain. Huh. I wonder why they didn't kill that bird. I wonder if I treat it like a poke. Instead of a... A dash. I might just go ahead and grab the last 20 bucks here and then just end up going to Zora. Though... That seems kind of risky to leave Bottle Vendor behind. But who knows, there's a good chance we'll find more money along the way here. And if I find Moon Pearl, then I can do Catfish, Zora, and all that together. Hey, more money, just like I asked for. Thanks, Gary! Alright, how do I want to do this? Guess I'll do it this way then! I just want to hear the boss battle themes. This pack is also not fully extended. 
but like extended enough apparently. Like I think they'll repeat certain themes for groupings of dungeons. But I'm pretty sure there's like a unique Ganon's Tower and unique Ganon fight music and stuff like that. Oh, there's a bottle there. Okay. I feel like it'd be a lot better if I be if I was heading up to Death Mountain, just a higher dense area. But I feel like if I don't go to the Zora area now, I'm just gonna put it off for as long as I can. It is kind of slow. All right. Well, hopefully Bottle Vendor isn't holding on to my Moon Pearl. Otherwise, I'm gonna be hurting a little bit. I'll leave it. I might have to grab that 50. Bye, money. That hurts. All right, whatever. That's fine, I guess. All right, do I go ahead and head up Death Mountain now? I think we quickly will run over to Sahasrala's hut. Because if he just has, like, a fire source, and there's something in Tower of Hera that requires a fire source, like if it's Vanilla Moon Pearl, would be good to have. to go get that sound clip. I was watching a bunch of Simpsons last week. And I watched the episode where it starts off with Mr. Burns running like a fire drill at the plant and Homer was the only one that made it out after like I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. So they all go onto this like mountain climbing team event. And there's a moment in it where Lenny and Carl, like, supposedly, they found the spot where the, the, the cabin was supposed to be, and they were like, well, what if, what if the cabin is just, you know, imaginary, or part of us, or, you know, the friends we made along the way? And then Lenny's like, oh, and then he goes, oh, they said they'd be sandwiches. And it's just, <laughs> that combination of just the the sound effects that he made just always cracks me up. I gotta say, I love Old Simpsons. There's something about the way that they went about voice acting and all that stuff for it. It just really hits all the right. Dude, it hits my funny bones so hard, I tell you what. Why, you could wake up dead tomorrow. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Jack? That's some banjo kazooie esque Go goopy music. Alright. T Rock, final pin. Oh, he almost talked to me. Oh, okay. Bennett Hera, here I come. Then once we're done up here, I'll finally go see what Bottle Vendor has, and if he had something important, I'm gonna feel real stupid, but, that, you know, that's just... That's how it goes. Okay. 
Goodbye, Hera forever. Not coming back to you ever. This isn't the answer. There's nothing up in Spiral Cave or Paradox. Then it's either East Palace or <laughs> Bottle Vendor, and I goof real hard. I guess I can go check King's Tomb now as well, but that's super out of logic without a fire source. Oh yeah, I have the blue mail as well. Oh. I do have the mirror, so I can route this a little bit more fun efficiently. Yeah, the only thing we ended up getting out of the whole Zora play was what? Ether? That was it. So hopefully it's required. Okay. Dude, if Moon Pearl is on. <laughs> if Moon Pearl is on Bottle Fender. I'm getting the feeling that he might have either the Moon Pearl or a Fire Source. This could very well be... Okay. Failed out. Let's go check these two real quick. And we'll go to the Dark World. Why didn't I why didn't I do Dark Death Mountain while I was up there? Whoops. Well, because it's out of logic, technically. No, that was a goof on my part. Whew. Sorry. I had to sneeze. Well, at least this will stop me from trying to hover hookshot cave. Auto vendor. That's what I thought. I guess. Um, let's go ahead and do all of these down. Scary Dark World music. Some silly minigame music. <laughs> Sounds like bar music, like old style Western bar. Bum 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 bum. goofed up the chest turn. Alright, well, the question is do we want to act on these mitts right away or do we want to hold off until we find a lamp? Nah. That seems like a mistake. Nice. I'll gladly take that. I'd like to find a fire source as well so that I can go like to the desert area. The fact that mitts are locked by lamp is kind of interesting though. But not really. I mean, what does it tell us? It just tells us where the lamp can't be. The lamp can't be locked by mitts anymore. So it can't be a Meyer Shed. Or Dark Death Mountain. I don't know if that's really interesting. 
for useful information. Would you... Especially because most of the time, at this point, I'd be like, hey, just give me the fire out, I'll be happy. since I found... well, I mean, I guess it hasn't been a while. We just still need a lot of, a lot of items. But, I mean, we're only 25 minutes in, so... That's only totally natural. Now the question is, after this, do I want to go... south? Do Smith Chain? Do I want to go north and dip into Skull Woods? Check Graveyard Ledge, go Catfish? Skull Woods and Desert are my Pyramid Fairies. Both of which require some sort of fire source. Ideally, the Fire Rod. Hmm. So, the lamp could be big. Yeah, the lamp could be in a lot of locations right now. Since, you know, Moon Pearl and Glove were both in pretty chill places. Hello, blind. I've heard this song before. Not this version, but I have heard this song before. It's a bit loud, <laughs> but it's nice. Hey! Do I dare just go straight to Pod? I mean, Lamb could just be in the front of Eastern. Do I want to go for the Eastern Green Pen of Clay, though? Oh, and we could also make the Swamp Palace dive without a hook shot. I don't know about that. I think I'm gonna route this stupid. Because then I can go Hype Cave all the way over to Smith, Hammer Pigs, grab Purple Chest, and then flute over. Hey, this is the same song. <laughs> that just sounds good, Sim. What'd you have for dinner? This is important. How many items are going to be locked with Fire Rod? Might be both. Alright, that's all three keys, though. So this has to be an item. I guess it could be Map or Compass, the other one I didn't get. It. Or did I get both of them already? I don't remember. Okay, this could be Map and then both items are in the back. Should be kind of frustrating. Really? 
I was mad. That blue rupee that was sitting there was keeping the wall master from spawning. God. <laughs> See, that's why you check that shit. Nice fire rod in Skull Woods. The classic. Alright, well that changes a few things. Now I can go for the desert play. Let's go ahead and kill Moth, see if he has a second item, then I don't have to check the other one. Oh. Oops. 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 Bad at games. See, if I had checked the front of Skull Woods and didn't check the middle part, I would have last location that fire rod 100%. out good because I can also grab I can go do check my shed do desert then I can do pyramid fairy to pyramid to catfish um, which means I'm gonna isolate graveyard ledge for the time being which is a little risky but it is kind of out of the way let's go back in grab that item we'll mirror and then we'll head on out uh, I should go to hype cave no matter what though boy I've got a bit of a route I want to take, so I might just focus on that. And, you know, it's always nice to get crystal dungeons out of the way. Oops. Let me just run into everything for a second. Yo, my first bottle. Nice. Um, I guess I can check that, too. All right. I'm feeling good. That was a good play. I'll check, check Hype Cave before I go to Pyramid Fairy. Right now, I want to go to Desert. Find out what I need for Mire. I could also go to Ice Palace. So right now, I am what? Samaria... Hookshot. And maybe a medallion away from Gohan. And Quake. Okay. Of course. Beep, 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 beep. good routing. I'm happy with this. Obviously, my biggest concern is going to end up being Graveyard Ledge or Smith Chain, since I'm probably going to put off those for a bit. game. Having boots at the start. <laughs> it's pretty great. Alright, we'll go ahead and check the big chest, even though it's very likely going to be a compass. Could be wrong. Never wrong. Alright. 
so beat moth or er, beat lamel is check checkerboard flute to my house go through portal do hype cave pyramid fairy catfish and then from there i'll probably go ahead and go do pond Ideally, I want a hookshot. A hookshot next would be kind of nice. I I don't I want Samaria go mode because I don't want to have to go into ice or er, into Turtle Rock. So the thing though is these mitts that I have are still out of logic until I find the lamp. But you know the lamp could just be chilling, like I said earlier, in Eastern. Like, that's the only item you get out of Eastern, and I'd be able to skip all of it. Oh, hell yeah. I remember this song. It's a good song. And it's over. Alright. 36 minutes, 3 crystals done. We can technically get two more. We can go get Ice and Pals of Darkness done. We still have what? Super Bunny Cave and the first chest of Hookshot Cave. Uh, we got quite a bit of Overworld left to do as well. I'd like to be able to hold off on Ice Palace until I find Samaria. In the hopes of being able to do Icebreaker to get through it faster. But we'll see if I get that opportunity. I might not. Because Samaria could be in there. You never know. Alright, we'll go ahead and hit up Agonist Cave. Save and quit, go to my house. Whoa! Whoa! There goes a the tire. was that bounce? Alright, this is good pace. It's a pretty good pace. Pretty happy with this so far. After Hype Cave and Pyramid Fairy Catfish, I'd almost be tempted to go do Stumpy, Grip, South the Grove, Digging Game, Smith. But we'll see. You gotta kinda try and find a balance between checking overworld and checking dungeons. Watch the lamp just be chilling right here. Like it's nothing. Well, that's good. No, wait, no, that's bad. Ah, nuts. I didn't want that. Because now I could probably go into Turtle Rock. Ah, but now Ice Palace is easy, so... I guess there's two sides, two ways to look at it. Ah, nuts. Ah, nuts. Alright, Hookshot. I just need Hookshot and Quake for Goma, that's it. That's it. I almost thought I started the second dash too late and wasn't going to make it, or was going to bonk. That would have sucked. Too shabby. Alright, you know what I am? Oh no, I can't. <laughs> I don't have the hook shot, so of course I can't do that. 
was gonna hook shot across here, but I cannot do that. Isolating Graveyard Ledge is a little scary. Uh, another thing I could do that is in logic, that would hook Spike Cave in logic, is go up and do Dark Death Mountain just to get Burna off a of floating island. I would rather go to Ice and Pod and set before going to Turtle Rock, though. Obviously, the prospect of go-moding either of those dungeons is pretty nice, but... I'm gonna go to Ice Palace next. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. Literally. This will be easy because we have Icebreaker. Uh, yeah, it's gonna kind of come down to... It's probably gonna come down to one of the three Pennant Dungeons. Eastern Hera or T-Rock. I would like to do no no. But I'd probably go for T-Rock, if anything. I would like to find... Actually, no. I guess now... I'd like to find Hookshot. I guess if there was anything I'd want for my go mode now, it'd probably be Quake. And that's if and only if T-Rock is also Quake. Since we're full clear in this dungeon, I don't have to hit the switch. One item. Small key. Steal the small key. Well, there's still, I think there's still another small key in here. Okay, there's two items. So that means big key is gonna be at Freezor. And then, yeah, then I just drop down go into the room on the right side, grab the small key. Surprise. Ah, oh, nuts. Alright, nothing in Ice Palace, but at least this is another crystal dungeon out of the way. And, for the most part, we went through it pretty efficiently, I'd say. Now the question is, do I want to do... Do I want to go straight to pod, or do I do more overworld now? Because if I do pod, I'm going to feel inclined to go ahead and do eastern, and get that green pen and turn that in. I think I should go do overworld. This could also end up being a... 
hook shot with Swamp Dive. Which isn't as bad when you have Samaria or can do Diver Down, but it's still pretty bad. Wrong. Yo, what's up, P-Plan? Aw, oh, nuts. Really? Damn it, P-Plan. It's your fault. Did I just shoot a fire rod shot that, and nothing came out? That was weird. Robot Dinos was good. We made a lot of progress tonight, or last night. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to, to continuing it. Eggs were also really good. It's just two eggs. Two slices of ham, a slice of pepper jack cheese, rolled in a tortilla, and then fried on the on the skillet. Give it a nice golden brown. Throw some uh, some uh, sour cream and some hot sauce on top. Boom, baby! Got yourself a good breakfast brunch. It doesn't happen to me, still. At least not. Not before the accident. Uh, I don't want to go for the big dick gamble of going in the swamp. But you know, now that I said that, that's going to be the answer. We still have what? We still have all this, which this could just give me the hookshot. Hookshot could be first chest bumper, or uh, hookshot cave, for the memes. Could be in Turtle Rock. I have the correct medallion for it, which good chance I do. And I don't have to beat the dungeon. But I don't really want to go through all of T-Rock. I think I'm going to do this stuff right here and then go do pot. Dude! Ah, that's, that's so frustrating. Generally, you're always supposed to do South of the Grove Cave, then do Stumpy, just in case you get the shovel. And the one time I didn't do that, of course the shovel was up here. Mm. Give me the hook shot. No, no. You know, it'd be a cool concept in this game is if you could send enemies through port. You can use portals as like a defensive mechanism. You can like leave a portal on the ground and enemies will go through it and go to the dark world. That show. Is that a harpsichord? I will say this pack needs some normalization. The songs are significantly louder than the game sound effects. Alright, three more checks along this way. And then, yeah, I'll probably go ahead and go to Pod. P Flan, stop. You're making me blush. No. Casual Boots is a uh... A standard starting mode, so you go through the escape sequence, um, but you start with boots and a small sword, or the fire sword.
it's kind of the same thing as open boots, except you do standard through escape as opposed to just open right out the gate. I love when doing overworld checks turn into more fetch quests. It's kind of interesting going through escape with uh, boots and a sword. It's for us smooth brainers that uh, prefer having boots at the beginning and want to go fast all the time. Wrong. You made Zelda? No way. You're a liar. Yeah, that's who P plan. And because there's always free bombs right north of Cagrico at the little bonk rocks next to the fortune teller, so. Alright, was this worth it? Survey says Yes. Alright, let's go to Meyer. Nice. Uh, I'm actually surprised that worked. Okay, well, now it's go mode hookshot, which has a good chance of being in Mire at this point, I'd say. But it has a good chance of being literally anywhere. Okie dokie. Let's go do Meyer. Then we'll go do Pod. Who knows? Maybe Pod is the place that has the lamp. It's possible. Could even be locked by the fire rod in the back. Sadie. P Flat, I've been struggling because I, I play a lot of cross keys, and every time I play into something that's not cross keys, I keep on trying to quick swap. But it doesn't work. What what should I do? Who do I complain to? Who do I ask several questions to that have already been answered several times already? Um, 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 um. Yo, nice. We got the quick mire too. I'll send for your agent a letter to his his home address. Oh yeah, right. This isn't key sanity. Oops. Brain no worky. All right, everyone. Just go ahead and just. How did I figure out you didn't make Zelda? Well, you see, I've played this game several times, and not once have I seen Mr. Sam McSam face in the credits, so. That's how I knew. That was a map. That's a bean. Just play cross keys, problem solved. Oh my gosh, you've solved the case. I'm promoting you to sergeant. How is mm, how is he so good at, at knowing where I'm gonna be? How did he do it? Yeah, he did. All right, cool. Vanilla big key. That's nice. What I just, cause like I did preset casual boots, would I just put a space and add quick swap? And saw how about would be like, <laughs> okay. Well, if you say so.
is there a frequently asked question page that I could probably read to get all of my answers be planned? If not, I'll just ask every day on the ladder discord. You have to be careful here. We haven't gotten any items yet in here. If Hookshot's in here, I'm gonna be feeling great. No, red mail. Fuzzball. I'd rather not use that blue potion just to get through this dungeon, but if I must. Alright, cool. <laughs> well, there's a go mode for you. Wow. I played the seed pretty goddamn well. About the only thing I could have done better would have been doing Smith Chain before Ice Palace and getting Quake, but that's fine. Obviously, the only thing I'm worried about now is Silverless Ganon with. Uh, Fire Rod, which is kind of scary. Uh, at this point, Lamp's either in Eastern or Pod. Uh, could be Graveyard Ledge. pop my blue potion so I can do this fight easily. Swamp go mode pod, I'll take it. Must have had eggs with ham sour cream and hot sauce for breakfast or something. Actually it's more like more like lunch. It was definitely afternoon when I ate. So I lied to you last night when I pinged you and said I was making I was gonna have eggs ten hours from then. I'm sorry. Forgiveness, please. So we could have skipped the whole Zora section because Ether wasn't required. Yeah, the big plays that I made were after Thieves Town making a Skullwoods dive and finding Fire Rod in the middle section. That was pretty big. Um, get out of the way! I guess not doing Eastern would be in that category. Put, continuously putting off Pod was good. Yeah, I. the only thing I'm worried about now is just making sure I get Torch Glitch on Ganon. But who knows, Silvers could still show up any second. I'll be curious to see what the medallion was for T-Rock. If it was Quake, then the seed was pretty 
pretty easy overall. But if it was any of the other medallions I got, one could easily have gone into T-Rock looking for a hookshot or a quake. It is nice when the answer ends up being overworld, leading to dungeons. That was good. The Smith Chain was a good play. Because it would have been really easy to have been like, okay, Hype Cave, Pyramid Fairy, Catfish, we'll go Ice, then we'll go Pod. And just putting that off. If I had done everything but Smith Chain at that point, then I could see maybe skipping it. Yo, what's up? How's it going? Yo, what up, Captain? Mario Kart! I'm anticipating Lamp is gonna just be in pod. Hell, it could just be first chest Eastern as well. That'd be funny. Looking for silvers. Be about the only thing I want. Healthy boy. One thing I wish they did in YouTube, which was always a problem that I had whenever I'd watch certain competitive Minecraft series, etc., etc., was a way to hide the uh, the video link from people, from viewers, at least like on the thumbnail or whatever, so people wouldn't know how well how fast a seed is. Because I remember when I used to watch this, like, PvP Minecraft series back in the day. Um, you could always tell when a player got knocked out of the, out of the competition, because his, his video would always be a lot shorter than everyone else's, since they were always, like, 20-minute segments. I kind of feel like it's the same thing with posting randomizer videos. Not as much. But still kind of the same. It's like, oh, okay, well, I can see that Willard did really well in this scene. Or really bad. I don't think I've ever had Luffy at one music. I don't think there's a Luffy at one MSU pack. At all. Unless you're talking about, like, during Secret of Mana randomizer or something. Because I'm pretty sure there was some Luffy music in, in that rando. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know, but I should actually see, get a list from Mop, see what all the songs are in there. Should do another one of those. Those are fun. All right, can we just get a golden pod with Binky on the right side? That would be mwah, beautiful. I love that. It's not gonna happen, but I love it. The nice thing about this seed is I'm gonna have finished it whilst only ever, like, checking the first two items in Hera. That's all I've done in any of the Pendant Dungeons. Aw, oh, if only that was the vanilla, or if that was a big key, that'd be sick. about. I'm 
actually gonna go ahead and check the vanilla big key chest. Which is probably not a good way to do it. But at the same time, if it just ends up being another key, then at least once we do right side, we can just go straight to the back. And yeah, don't have to like gamble on this or worry about this. Because it's awful when you go do all of the back of pod, and then this ended up being the big key the whole time. But if this is the big key, I'll have to do right side regardless. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Right up. Pod is a rarely is a dungeon I rarely go mode. So I don't even know what the best practices are for go mode. Either. I don't know if there even are best practices. So hopefully big key's over here and we can just go straight to helmet. Dude, lamp and big key right here. Oh, that could have been lamp. This has to be a small key, right? Okay, that's fine. Oh, I love that. It's so stupid, but I love it. <laughs> Yo, Sam McSamface. Thank you so much. Toad's dead! Alright, there was the big key. I was thinking about checking some more, but I think we just gotta go for it. Ow. I do have, I'll check the spoiler log and see where the lamp was this entire time afterwards. But yeah, thanks for the 126, dude. Appreciate that. Grats on the new bike. Also, I did remove that spam protection you were talking about. Or just worried. I'm not. I, I don't have enough practice doing fire rod torch glitch. That's the problem. That's my big concern. I feel like the last time I had to do it, I missed it. So. all seven. Let's head on up. Get on up. Lamb. I think the only items I got in this damn dungeon were all bombs. Now that's funny. Sorry for trying to deceive you saying I made Zelda. Deceive you. I before E except after C. Come on, man. Thanks for the hundred. And no problem, I already forgive you. Forgiveness, please. Lamp is good to have. But lamp can sometimes be in really rude places, so... Sometimes it's not always worth grabbing. 
I'm gonna go out on a limb and predict that Silvers are probably gonna be in GT. They could be in Hookshot Cave or Super Bunny, but I'm not gonna see any of those locations, so. I just wanna see what medallion I need for T-Rock, because I'm curious if T-Rock was a potential option. See, I liked Hookshot and Meyer just because it's one of those quirks of the randomizer where an item that you need to get through the dungeon has a higher chance of being there, or feels like it has a higher chance of being there. Kind of like, you know, Bombos and Fire Rod for, T or for Ice Palace. Same with Boots and Hookshot for uh, Meyer. That kind of scenario. Oops. If it's Quake, then this was less of a bad scene. Okay, it was Ether, which I got off of Zora. Or the Waterfall. If a grill comes, sure, I'll pretend that you made Zelda. I don't think any grills watch my stream, though, so you might be out of luck. No grills. Sorry, grills. Charcoal, propane, or electric? Alright, let's go with my patented route. There's the second green route. Propane. Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? Stop bullying me, Stalfos. Right. right side. Milkman. It's a lot of small keys. Oh, cool. Thanks, GT. No silvers for me. That's fine. Normally I'd use my fire rod going up here, but I gotta be a little... Eh, fuck it. Good thing I have half magic. Otherwise, I'd be worried. Uh. Keep that room. I love going ice skating. Fireball have to hit me. Ah, man. <laughs> go, Garfield, go. Look 
Look at all the bombs. Wow. Hopefully that's enough health to get me through this. I don't trust Moldorm ever. Ah, oh, I missed it, barely. Hey, nice. No, it's not in GT. <laughs> Lamp has been interesting because Mitts were at uh, Old Man Rescue. Mountain Man Rescue. So... We've been out of logic this entire game. This is F Zero music. Also, Pod was a pendant. <sighs> Alright. Just gotta be a gamer and not miss Torch Glitch. Peace cake. Zelda music. <laughs> Wait a minute. It ain't my input, of course. WJB Smug. WJB Smug. Alright, whatever. I'll still got this sub 80. I gotta practice that. I really gotta practice that. Thank God for half magic. But long chilly dog. GG. GG. Yo, Card Weaver, what up, dude? Thanks for three months. Black Electric, thanks for the 10 as well. Hold on. 
let's look. I want to see where this lamp was. Never mind. There's no spoiler log. I guess it was in our hearts all along. 